Well, welcome back to Dino Days, another EP3 of the house for us to map today. And we were due a red one, and here it is. They've all been black recently, but here is a red one for us to map. So it's already on a K Pro, it's got some form of map on it. So we're going to uh, run through what we do and see how we can improve upon that. So let's get it up onto the dyno and do a stop power run. Okay, so she's made it up onto the dyno. You can see a few modifications straight away. Uh, we've got a Tegua airbox. We've got a silicon hose. We've got, looks like we've got an uprated throttle body, inlet manifold. That's quite nice in that color. I reckon Uncle Keith could paint one of those. Um, yeah, okay, so it, here is Uncle Keith. You are Uncle Keith. Hi. We were just talking about you. I reckon you can paint a nice rocker cover that color. I think it looked nice on my FN2. Yes, you could, mate. You better get some, you better get some sleep, you know, because we booked in some work for you, mate. You're going to be sweating. What, tomorrow? <laughs> Till the end of time, my friend. Yeah. You've got two silver FN2s to do. Two, two silver FN2s? Yeah. Two silver. Well, one of them is oh, full respray. Yeah. The, other one's, the other one's wings and stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Anyway, I digress. EP3 made it up onto the ramp, uh, onto the dyno, and now it's time for a stock power run to see where we're at. It's already got a map on it, so we're going to see if we can improve upon that. There we go. It's Friday. Red EP3. I feel tired, but it's Friday. Yeah, it is Friday. I'll give it that. We've got a lovely Honda meet tomorrow. Here, at Dino Days. You're going to enjoy that, won't you? What, walking around, looking at cars? Yeah. Well, I mean, on your own, obviously, because I'm not into our. You are into our, mate. I'm not into telling you. I'm not. You don't turn up tomorrow. You know you know when I'm not here tomorrow and you'll be surprised. But you, I've been telling you all week I'm not here tomorrow. You don't turn up tomorrow, you might as well not come back, mate. <laughs> you best get your toolbox and fuck off. You better sack me then. <laughs> yeah, I will sack you. Today. I will sack can you. Can you finish sack me four or five today so I can have an early finish? No, you're not getting any of the holiday that you rode. Yeah. Yeah. That's just that's life, isn't it? Mate, you want sacking. You don't even get holiday. I don't like holiday. It gives me anxiety. Mm. But then again, you try dealing with eBay after two days off. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure it's delicious. Oh, it's it fills me full of joy. Mm. Joy, the joys of humanity come through eBay. Hello, mate. I ordered something an hour ago. Have you got a tracking number? No, no, I've not, mate. No, I don't know. Uh, anyway, I digress. EP3. Yeah. Only here for that. Well, so only here for Matt, but it's here for Matt. Because uh, we thought he might have had a K Pro, it was a K100. Yes, it so was a K100. A little, uh, little bit more work for Richard. A little bit more. Uh, just he a, loves K100. Just to add something else extra to my. Uh, he loves K100s. If anyone's got a K100 that wants mapping, Richard absolutely loves them. Mm. Um, yes, so. I'm thinking about buying them all just so I can smash them all with a the hammer. <laughs> so I don't have to deal with them. Do you want to explain why? Because people are just going to think, oh, God, he doesn't like tuning K100s. Uh, well, 
not like to explain the K100 is only a board. It's that that's exactly what it is. You can't read and write from that board. So put it this way: when so you, have to you... Have, you have to have the customer's ECU, then you obviously have to take the K100 out. You have to put a K Pro in it. You have Which to tune has to come out of my car and disable it. Yeah, come out of Dan's car and disable it. <laughs> then we have to tune the car with the K Pro in. Then we have to write the file for the K100 onto the board. Then put the board back, the K100 board back in. Then do a run to make sure that it's actually programmed to the ECU 100 percent and it's there and it's exactly where we left it a minute ago. Get comfy. Yeah, then we can finally put it back in the car and do it. Whereas obviously with the K Pro, you just plug into it and just do, 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 and you're USB away. lead USB lead and away you go so yeah that's particularly why I, I, I don't enjoy doing them just get something else but nevertheless they map the same so it's uh, it came in and I think it made uh, 224 brake horsepower bear in mind though it was already had the K100 in it so again yeah. this uh, K100 had, had, a map had, had, had a map on it and already had a map yeah. on and we finish on 230 we've made some power in the mid range, we uh, just smoothed it out mainly. I think from what you know, from looking at the graph, it actually sounds better. So. Yeah, just actually smoothed it out. Whereas it had a bit like a ploughed field going on initially. Mm. We've just literally smoothed that out. So whilst we've not made a massive amount of power in any area at all, some areas are a couple of breaks, some are ten to fifteen breaks. So, so say plough to me again. Plough. <laughs> That's the code word for this video. <laughs> plough mm. to be ploughed. Mm. Plowing. Plowing. You take your pick, but I want the word plow on there. Mm. Uh, yeah, and it's mapped up lovely, hasn't it? And it's not a bad car. And it's actually a car that used to be local to us. This. Yeah, we know the previous owner, don't we? Yes, so. Ellis. Mm. Ellis Mary. Ellis Mary. Um, but the customer has done a lot of work since Ellis owned it. Mm. Um, he did find some of it was uh, expandable foam. Oh, very nice. Now, I don't think Ellis did that. No, I wouldn't have thought so. But, but... Uh, but there was some expandable foam instead of sills, and he's completely refreshed the car uh, underneath and it, it apparently i'm told it, it's lovely mm. it's lovely so it's off for an mot soon i believe um and then we'll see this one back he did comment that he'd like a turbo on it he'd been looking at the k20 colt outside with the big snail on it and i told him how quick that was uh, too quick for me mm. um and he's uh, he's interested so that's great so we'll um yeah, we'll talk to him about that. But uh, Should we have a look at this graph then? Let's have a look at the graph. Then I think it's home time, mate. Yep, come on then. Okay. Let's get it done. So as we always say, so as we always say red line is as she came in, blue line is as she leaves. And uh, yeah, we finish on 230 brake horsepower. We've made uh, quite a bit of wheel horsepower there. But 230 is a good result for this with the mods that it's got on it. It's a red one. They've all been black recently, like I said, but this red one... Uh, it's nice to have something a bit different. Um, Keith's got a red one outside. Uh, I think this one might benefit from a little bit of Uncle Keith, but uh, we shall see. But thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, guys. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. Code word is plowed. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Like I say, you've got a Honda meet tomorrow. So if you're watching these videos in order and, and things like that, then maybe the next video after this could well be a lovely Honda day. So uh, check that out. We'll see you soon. Thanks, guys. Wait, it was pretty fast.